Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another random trailer reaction video. Today, I'm going to react to the three trailers that came out for this game so far and combine them into one video. So if you haven't watched any of the trailers or if you watched some of them, but not all, let's watch them together. This game, I will say, is one of my most anticipated games in development. I feel like most Westerners are not familiar with Journey to the West. I have a feeling if I talk too much about the story, it's going to spoil the game a little bit. It is a story based on one of the four most important classical Chinese novels. You will be playing as the main character, Monkey Sun, and he actually has many different names, Monkey Sun, Monkey King. Sun Wukong and Wukong is a name given by his master who taught him all the special skills. Now he was born with some supernatural skills, but most of these essential skills he learned from his master, um, which helped him later for their journey to the West. It is just the perfect story for a game production. You will come across so many different mythical creatures, obstacles, Friendships, and I wouldn't call that a friendship. It's more like a relationship between a master and his apprentices. There are many different versions, and I'm very curious to see which direction the game is going to take in terms of his character. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this game, it's... Anyways, I'm so excited. I have to be honest, I watched the first trailer a year ago, but the second and the third, it'll be all brand new to me as well. And even the first trailer, it has been a year, so I need a refresher. Now, before we watch the trailer, two things I want to mention. First thing is, I've played my fair share of Chinese RPG games in my childhood. Normally, I don't really have high hopes for the animation and combat system. I play these games mostly for the, the story, the music and nostalgia, but this one, I was really blown away by the first trailer from a year ago. I have a feeling you guys are gonna be very impressed too. And the second thing I want to mention is now that you're here, I would love to assume that you will keep an open mind about China's history and the mythology and this game in general not here to spread hateful information <laughs> so please keep my comment section free of politics and just as a reminder there's a lot more to china and its history i think only when we can keep an open mind and respectful mindset we can really enjoy each other's culture and history so thank you in advance for your cooperation and cheers with all that said with all that out of the way let's get into the trailers wow it got so serious just now here comes the first one i will commentate during the video but i will also leave a link to the original trailers in the descriptions <laughs> Tang Sung is his master. <laughs> Zhao 你们一定没有听过。这个故事得从一只金蝉说起。Oh, I like this opening for the trailer. The gameplay footage is recorded directly from a pre-alpha game build work in progress. Does not represent the final look of the game. Hope it's not too different. This could be him. He can transform into various creatures. It's gonna be so much fun playing and transform into different animals. Hey, 
Wow, I love that. Teach us something. That looks really smooth, and I like the special effects. <laughs> like the fire dance. Oh, <gasps> and then you can have that weapon. I'm impressed by the art style a lot. And the world looks really realistic so far. Somebody knows that's him. Very impressed by the character design. And I don't know if this is this translates, but the voice acting is top notch. But I have a feeling that something will translate, even when it's a different language, right? Press is not using the weapon, the new weapon. Oh. Oh, so you can like take the form of the former enemies you killed. Oh, 
似是黑风怪的道友，自称灵虚子。以你现在的道行，糟了！小猴子，快逃，还来得及！你若进了这道门，便回不了头了。The fur actually looks decent. From my experience, that's something Chinese games kind of struggle with. Hair and fur. The way they render it, it's still a, a bit outdated. But I think this is decent. Can, can be better. <laughs> still, but decent. And water. I think, I think water and reflection is also something from my experience with the Chinese RPG games, like, can be more convincing. They're showing us the second boss fight, if the last one count as a boss. This is another thing he learned from his master, his first master. He can use his hair and change them into monkey minions to fight for him. That's something from the book. Now he's using that weapon, a new weapon. That's one thing I'm really excited about this game. The fact that he can change, and also now it seems like even your fighting style can change accordingly. If it's a long-winded journey, that's gonna help to break up the pattern a lot. What do you think about the fire animation here? Maybe I'm just nitpicking, but I feel like if the fur is on fire, there should be something, right? Like it, it should turn black or part of it should look burnt. But here it just looks a bit floaty, like the fire is floating on top of the, the fur. Not trying to be negative, but I want to be somewhat objective. That's a great shot. The carving and etching on the metal and the armor looks really good. So many different types of enemies. Kind of so like some of these boss fights. That's his formal wear. This look is very similar to what I remember from the TV shows and other productions based on his story.
I'm really digging the art style. A lot. I don't know for sure, but I feel like this is him. In the story, he's supposed to become a god after the mission's completed. Oh, they kept the original music from this. That's amazing. Wow. That last moment of hearing that song again, it really stirred up some emotional feeling inside of me. There you have it, the first trailer. It is a 13 minutes long trailer. I'd say that's very <laughs> generous of them. We've learned to reserve judgment when it comes to these trailers that says does not represent the look at the final game, you know. That was what got me really interested in this game, like really interested. And I'm not sure if you guys caught that little part when he was doing this. He was being punished for something. And now I can't tell you this. Now the second video is only three minutes long. Black Myth Wukong Chinese New Year Greetings. And it was from eight months ago. Well, let's get into it. This I've never seen. As the mouse gives way to the ox, we have a growing talent and force. Here's a little tune for you, gamers dear. May you have a prosperous year. And they were still hiring more people. It's gotta be really hard to translate some of these material. I don't think a lot of them have have equivalents in English. It's almost like watching a movie. Some parts can get really creepy, I feel like, if you want to take it to that direction. I definitely feel like the chills when I go to these temples and seeing the statues staring at you. The way the position looks. Buddha statues. So this is like a different landscape from the first trailer we saw. This is more deserty. In the story, they will go to like the northwest part of China. This could be it. And the enemies there will, like, I mean, naturally be more fire-based. That's an ox. Be strong like a bull. This bull is a very uh, important character in the, in the book. This video is specially produced for celebrating the year of the ox. It does not represent actual plot. Oh, okay, so I guess this this one isn't really a trailer, but more like a fun side thing they did. It was not related to the game. That was a lot of effort put into a random video. <laughs> Actually, I can kind of relate to that. I have a lot of random videos. A lot of effort, but it did not get me anywhere. All right, let's watch the latest trailer that's from only two months ago. I've been waiting to watch this on the channel. And here we go. 
everything you're about to see, you about to see, you about. <laughs> Okay. I hope they hire someone on the team that will spell check, grammar check the translation for the final game. Everything you're about to see was captured in game, running in real time, work in progress. Does not represent the final look of the game. Wow, 早就看穿了你们他叫化为修行路上无解 what I'm saying? These figures of the temples, they're, they're haunting. This really doesn't help me. <laughs> With how I feel about the temples. Okay, different weather. I feel like they do a really great job with different um, weather and landscapes so far. And I like seeing the trace of the moving weapons. I think that's a nice touch. See some gameplay. It's another monkey. Wait, he doesn't recognize him. It's very melee heavy, which I don't mind. We just shatter that one. So, on the left side corner, you do see a health and a magic point, and it looks like the yellow one is the stamina. Pretty standard. He's fighting monkeys. Huh. Interesting. Oh, but oh, oh yeah, then you see the how far the enemy in the middle. Interesting on the right side corner there are three slots for something. Maybe some sort of enchantments. And only one of them is lit right here. And I'm assuming the left side is the special attacks. But of course, we don't know what the symbols represent right now. I don't know, guys. I, f I feel like the combat looks really smooth. This reminds me of... Um, Another Chinese game I've been playing the last few days called Xuan Yuan, Xuan Yuan Sword 7. And then combat in that game also... Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. That's Taiwanese. A Taiwanese game. It was also very surprisingly smooth and satisfying. 
Oh. Interesting. He left a shadow of himself just now when he moved around. I don't I wonder if it does something though. Other than just the look. Oh! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought he was gonna surrender. What was that about? These voice actors are doing an amazing job. So he transformed into a, a bat and following this man, this bird man. Fighting a dragon next? A white dragon. I think I know who this is. But I can't tell you. This dragon is beautiful. Notice the enchantment on the right side is not lit anymore. So there's gonna be elements. I think it was he was in shock just now. And again now. It doesn't show anywhere... Oh, it does, it does. His health bar. I like how they are leaving an impact on the environment as they fight. Cracking their eyes and stuff. I like this instrument that comes in at this moment. This instrument is called Sona, by the way. Fighting all these enemies. I hope they all have different fighting skills. 
And then later you can absorb their talents. I wonder if that alcohol, drinking alcohol, actually affect his um, combat. <laughs> You're all moving. Oh, that's this is great. But they still look like part of the uh, temple building. A came to life. Special thanks, Epic Games. It's not over yet. Way to play this game. Where are they now? With the development, I'm and I'm so happy that they got the copyright for that music. My favorite is the art style. So impressed with the all the deep carvings and metal etching. They all look very realistic. Also, the voice actors are so great. It makes me feel like. I'm watching a movie. I was actually expecting to see the other characters of his gang, but his master and his two other, three other brothers are nowhere to be found in all three trailers. It makes me think this is a different time. It's what happened after they've completed the journey. If that's the case, then it, this will be a really different take on the story which will also be very interesting. From the look of it, the combat will be very satisfying if they can carry out what they have envisioned here. And I didn't count the enemies, but I feel like we've seen at least, what, 15 different types of enemies, seven different bosses in just these three videos. That's like a big promise they're making. Some of these side characters were very interesting too. The way they designed them and made them into a narrator for a short period of time. There you have it guys. These are the three videos they have on their YouTube channel. I'm sure we'll be seeing more and I'll be doing more reaction videos as they come out. Really hope you had enjoyed today's reaction video and let me know what you think about this game. Will you play it? What do you think is working so far? What can be improved on? I would love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and and feel free to check out my other videos where I play story-based games such as The Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima, and right now we're playing God of War. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!